we learned that you can do one month limit by using cell. But what I want to see all months, how this landscape changes through the year. And I want to show each month composite. Let's see how we can do this. So first I'll just do my, this monthly array. So I have my data set, I converted my data variables into the band variable. So now I have this data, which is 12 months, four bands, X and Y coordinate. And I want to plot all 12 months together. And this is again, very easy to do in my product when you're working, with, especially with climate data or kind of visualized landscape change. This is a very useful visualization you can create. To create this, we're going to say, we want to create a plot with multiple axes. Here, instead of subplot one, one, we say, I want subplot with four rows and three columns. So total 12 months, right? So we have 12 axes. So in a single axis, we now have a list of axes. And now we can say for each axis, we'll plot a different month. So axis of zero will be the first one, axis of one will be second month and so on. So this is a list of axes. We can now go and iterate over each of this axis. Matplotly provides with this function called flat. This is a nested list. You'll have a, a list of four x four axes in groups of three. So flat will just give you a flat list. We can iterate and say for each axis that we get plot the relevant month. So we now have the index. So for the first one, first axis, second one, second axis, and so on. We'll say for this one, select the month of that particular index and plot it there. If you're visualizing multiple data set, we don't want to do robust true because each data set will be stretched to its you know, distribution of that particular image. So we keep a standard distribution so we can see the landscape change over time using same visualization and then we can visualize this. Now we're going to create a plot and then for each axis, we're going to plot each month. And this is going to show you a plot with you know four rows and three, three columns and four rows. So you can see now this is our landscape and you can see each month's image and how it changes. The agriculture region, so you have our agriculture, this is summer, harvest, a second sowing season and so on. You can see the landscape changing over time. 